We are continuing in our series of creating the life that you want. And part three is just questions. I'm going to read a list of questions from Dr. Cindy Trim's book, Hello Tomorrow. I'm going to read a list of questions from um, the Law of Attraction Journal. I'm going to read some questions from the 52 Week Planner. And I'm also going to read some year end review questions from my phone. So here we go. The first thing, as you can see behind me, I have this, who are you right now? How would you define yourself right now in this very moment? What is your reflection? Who do you want to be in the future? Physically, emotionally, spiritually, relationally, economically, career, entrepreneurship, creatively, educationally, holistically, etc. Whatever category you want to put, who do you want to be in your future? And what motivates you? And these are just a few questions to ask yourself as I go through the list of questions I'm about to read. And as I go through these questions, I want you to think about what's called a SWOT analysis. Your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. Again, strength, weakness, opportunities, threat. Your SWOT analysis. So the first thing you do when you think about your year and review, what are you most grateful for? in the previous year. How did you feel about the year overall? Was it better than expected? What are some of the positive changes you saw in yourself? How have you grown as a person? What life lessons have you learned? List your major accomplishments. What and who helped you achieve them? What are some of the things, goals you wanted to achieve but didn't go as planned? Do you still feel passionate about these goals? If so, write down why they are still important to you. What can you do differently in this year to accomplish them? What's holding you back from the life that you envision? Is it self-doubt? Is it perfectionism or something else? If you were to give this year a theme word, what would it be? Pick a scripture, quote, or inspiration that aligns with your theme of the year. Choose the top three categories that you'd like to set goals for. Health, mind, relationships, personal development, organization, decluttering, skill building, financial, creativity. Name a few people who really inspire you and short reasons why. What can I do to live my theme? What do I want to invite into my life? What will I let go of? How do I want my body to feel? What is your reading plan for the year? How many books? What journal or planner will you use? How will you get ahead? Remember I told you this is all questions. What am I happy about in my life right now? What about that makes me happy? How does that make me feel? What am I excited about in my life right now? What about that makes me excited? How does that make me feel? What am I proud of right now in my life? What about that makes me proud? And how does that make me feel? What am I grateful for in my life right now? What about that makes me grateful? And how does that make me feel? What am I enjoying in my life right now? What about that do I enjoy and how does that make me feel? What am I committed to in my life right now? What about that makes me committed and how does that make me feel? What Whom do I love in my life? Who loves me? What does that make me feel loved or loving? 
How does that make me feel? How can I make myself feel good today? How can I improve my relationships today? How can I be present in the now? How can I have more inner peace today? And what can I give today? What are my five most important goals? What can I do to achieve my goals? What help or guidance can I ask for today? What can I pray for today? If this were the last day of my life, how would I live it? What have I given today? In what ways have I been a giver today? What did I learn today? How was my energy and vibration today? How can I improve? Did I follow my intuition today? And what did it tell me? How did I follow my heart's desire? How did I follow my passion today? Did I allow things to flow today without trying to control the outcome? How has today added to the quality of my life? Am I enjoying the journey? What is the best thing that happened to me today? How can I create similar experiences? Where did I make progress in my life today? Did I celebrate every step of my progress? What am I grateful for today? How did I love today? What can I ask for? What help or guidance can I ask for from my creator? And as I'm looking for the next set of questions, I want you to understand that you can take your time writing all of those down. And whatever jumps out to you, whatever you feel like that's something that I need to work on, those are the questions that you need to answer. Now I'm going through the questions in Dr. Trim's book, which are a little more extensive, but again, whatever sticks out to you, those are the ones that you should answer. Your personal brand. What are your greatest strengths? What are you really good at doing? List three qualities that make you unique. What drives and motivates you? What are your likes and dislikes? What is your personality type? Describe your temperament and behavioral tendencies. List three people you really admire and explain why. Who are your closest associates and what do their lives speak about you? What kind of impact do you wanna leave? What do you want to be known for? What's your promise to the world, your community, your profession, your family? What's your value adding proposition? And what do you stand for? Companionship, marriage. Are you in a fulfilling relationship? Do you feel loved? How often are you expressing love to the one person whom you love the most? What would an ideal relationship look and feel like? How might this relationship look after 20, 30, 40 years? What is your love language, your communication style or preference? What is the ideal dynamic of your relationship? What do you expect from your spouse? What type of person do you wanna grow old with? Describe your ideal date night. Describe the things needed to keep your marriage healthy. What mutual hobbies and interests do you have? What goals do you have together? If you are not currently married, when will you be married and what month of what year? Will your wedding take place at a chapel, church, synagogue, park, or bench? What do your rings look like? How many people are in the wedding? What colors are they wearing? Describes the bridesmaids and groomsmen's attire. Where are you going on your honeymoon? Family. How often do you enjoy quality time with both your immediate and extended family? What are your favorite family traditions? What traditions will you pass down? Describe your family values. Describe your family's heritage. Describe your family's legacy. What type of inheritance will you leave? Personal growth and development. What types of close relationships do you need to develop? What are your educational goals? What is your lifelong learning plan? How do you intend to continually enrich your life? What books would you like to read or add to your library? What types of workshops, conferences, or credentials? would you find beneficial? What do you want to own? What do you want to accomplish? Write your bucket list. Who are your mentors? Who are your coaches? Who's your therapist? Career, calling. Describe what you would do if you knew it wouldn't fail. What is your ultimate dream job? What is your industry you really want to work in? What would you like to have achieved? What would you do even if you didn't get paid for it? 
what would what does your ideal career look like? Do you work from home? Do you enjoy being around people every day? Do you love being on the road? Describe in detail your professional career path. What are the steps you need to get there? Your friends and colleagues, what kind of close relationships do you need to develop? Do you have a mastermind group? If so, who are those people? What does your support system look like? Whom do you value more than anyone else? Who values you the most? Whom would you like to impress more than anyone else? Who holds you accountable for your decisions? What relationships undergird you? What relationships have encouraged your gifts to flourish? What challenges, who challenges you with next level thinking and whom can you confide? Networks, alliances, and partnerships. Are you a member of any professional group or association? Are you con con consistently being exposed to a new networking opportunities? Who are your legal and tax advisors? How do, how do your banking and financial planning relationships look? Describe the key business relationships, recreation and renewal. Do you make time for fun on a regular basis? Do you schedule time every day for rest and renewal? How do you have fun? What are those hobbies or creative endeavors you've always wanted to explore? Describe your dream vacation. What do you do to refresh your soul on a weekly basis? How do you get rid of stress? How do you plan to reinvent as in recreate yourself? Whom do you enjoy spending time with? Spiritual growth and development. Do you spend time reading and studying the word of God? Do you have a pastor or priest that provides you with spiritual guidance? Do you take regular me moments? Do you engage in regular character development activities? What steps will you take in order to live more authentically? How might you find greater fulfillment by giving back? What would your ideal Sabbath look like? Describe spiritually enriching moments you've built into your daily routine, such as prayer, meditation, worship. Financial stability. Imagine all your financial needs and goals are met. What does that look and feel like? How are you able to achieve that? What would a workable budget look like? Do you need to create and make some revisions to your current one? Describe your retirement plan. Who do you want to retire with? How do you plan to underwrite your vision? Describe your investments and assets, including intellectual property, real estate, and other portfolios, health, wellness, fitness. What would an ideal fitness program look like for you? What would you do and when? What would an ideal eating pattern or nutrition lifestyle look like? If you were always getting adequate rest, how would that routine look? What is your ideal weight? How do you eliminate stress? Do you live a balanced emotional, professional, and social life? What is your nutrition and supplement strategy? What is your mental and emotional health strategy? What is your physical health and medical checkup strategy? Legacy, what kind of impact do you wanna have? How will the next generation remember you? Who will carry on your work? What industry will you influence? What kind of inheritance do you want to leave to your children? How will the world know you were here? And what are the ripples you want the pebble of your life to leave? Oh, it's getting good up in here, right? Okay. Last year's words belong to last year's language and next year's words await another voice, T.S. Eliot. So how did your Thanksgiving celebration compare to last year's? What made it special this year? What are you most grateful for at this time? Make a list of family and friends you visited this season. What were the highlights? What three things are you going to stop beating yourself up for? In what ways are you enthusiastic? Journal about the teachers who most influenced your life. How did they inspire you? And to whom have you passed their wisdom on to? What was your favorite thing to do with any family member growing up. Can you put into words the top three emotions that you are feeling right now? So that concludes all of our questions. Those are just questions for you to sit and think about, not be overwhelmed with. You could take them a chunk at a time if you want to answer all of them, or you can just take bite-sized pieces, but we will meet you in the next video. Peace out.